So recently I have got a lot of questions on Kala Sarpa Yoga. And people, students, followers have wanted to know my view regarding it. Honestly, I don't believe in Kala Sarpa Yoga at all. Why I don't believe in it? Because according to my experience, Kala Sarpa Yoga does not work in practice. Now, before I go to give you examples on this topic regarding how Kala Sarpa Yoga do not work, why it should not be taken, I have some very, very major points to discuss before that. First of all, let's understand a particular thing that as far as it comes to serious yogas in astrology, Rahu and Ketu are not included in them. So as you see very important yogas such as Nabas yogas, Grahmalika yogas and all other yogas, Rahu and Ketu are not included. You see in making Sunufa, Anafa, Drudra, Yoga, Veshi, Vashi, Ubaichari yogas, Rahu and Ketu are not included at all. So the inclusion of Rahu and Ketu in yogas itself is dubious. They are generally not included in yogas. You can say that there are yogas like Guru Chandali Yoga where Rahu is included but this Guru Chandali Yoga does not come from major classics. That is one point that you have to understand. Second point regarding Kal Sarpa Yoga is that you see the name Kal meaning time, Sarpa meaning snake. Generally yogas in astrology are not named over such very important thing. You see in astrology we talk about Kal Purush, the time personified. No, because Kal is a concept, Kal is time and Kalapurush is very, Kalapurush is a basic concept in astrology. Yogas cannot be named over Kal as such. So to avoid the confusion, right? So I don't remember leaving aside Kal Sarpa Yoga that there are any other yoga which uses the word Kal as such. Kalagani Yoga, Trikal Darshi Yoga, such yogas are developed later on, but suddenly it does not come from major classics as such. Another thing is that using the name of animals in a yoga, such as Sarpa snake, is also not a very common finding as such. Only in yoga such as Shashi Yoga etc. the name of animals come, but it is very rare, not very common as such. From Sarpa Yoga, there is mention of Sarpa Yoga separately that says that if there are three or more than three malefics in Kendras, then Sarpa Yogas happen in horoscope. Now, as a result of this yoga, you see there are many results of yogas indicated in astrology. And in practical analysis, we don't give much importance to yogas as such. I will talk about it shortly. So practical uses of Sarpa Yoga when there are three or more than three malefic in Kendras is that person is an atheist. He does not believe in God and sciences, life improving sciences such as astrology, they don't believe in that. Even if they believe into it, they cannot act accordingly. Then they cannot act accordingly. Generally, these people are negative with a negative and criminal bent of mind. And because the combination includes three or more than three malefic in Kendras, these people generally don't succeed well in life and this lack of success cannot be attributed to they being born in a humble background or things like that, but should be attributed to wrong decisions that they take in life. Their suspicion towards everything, lack of trust, criminal bent of mind and not acting on good things is, is what leads them to such conditions. However, regarding Sarpa Yoga, even if there is one benefit in Kendras or any planet, the three malefic in Kendras making Sarpa Yoga, if they are in own Rashi, Exaltation, Multrikun, Vargottam, etc., then according to me, Sarpa Yoga ceases to exist and the bad result of Sarpa Yoga does not apply to such people. Right, so Sarpa Yoga is there, but as far as Kala Sarpa Yoga is concerned, it is not mentioned in any major classic or mentioned by any major Rishi as such. Someone can argue that it is researched by astrologers, but in that particular case, Kalsarap Yoga came into limelight only after 1980-85. And I believe 35-40 years are not enough to substantiate something as 
uh, you know a research at least 200 300 years are needed if you really want to conclude something as a great research for that matter right so the time is not the, since the invention of the yoga time have not passed much it is not mentioned by sages and it cannot be called a research cannot be called a research because the first of all there is confusion regarding kal sarva yoga right there is there, there is first of all there is a kal sarva yoga where the planets are on the either side of rahu or ketu now keeping in mind if uh, uh, keeping in mind that rahu and ketu go into the opposite direction from the house they will go to the previous house rather than going to the next house then there is categorization based on you know the planet is in which half whether it is being consumed by ketu first or being consumed by rahu first if one planet is out of the rahu and ketu axis then it is taken as kal anshik kal sarva yoga then based on the rahu ketu axis being situated in different houses there are 12 different type of kal sarva yoga that is made i think to fool people and mint money out of people will it not be better to make 108 kal sarva yogas based on the 108 navamsha position of rahu and ketu keeping in mind that navamsha is also important seems like someone have to give some very good ideas to this kal sarva yoga people but if they had this much of intelligence they will not be making things such as kal sarva yoga out to mint money out of people right so kal sarva yoga in my practice i think that it, it it does not work you do a small research on kal sarva yoga and you see like as it happens with yogas there is some very clear result when sages produce a yoga there is some very clear result that will be told by everyone everyone who knows astrology but when it comes to kal sarva yoga everyone have their own whims and fancies you do some research find the result of kal sarva yoga and you will see that no two people are saying the same result everyone is saying different result for kal sarva yoga what is the real actual result for kal sarva yoga only god knows that all right so also keeping this in mind kal sarva yoga seems to be a cooked up theory because there is no single result for kal sarva yoga as such and of course it is a cooked up theory because it is not mentioned in any major classic or mentioned by any sage as such now before i actually go deeper into the topic one more thing i will want to discuss how much is the importance of yogas in vedic astrological analysis so let me tell you let's categorize the yoga into two different categories one is raja yoga dharma raja yoga dhan yoga prashya yoga khala yoga right nirdhan yogas and all of these yoga these yogas actually have a bearing you see raj yogas to decide the level of success in horoscope you see dhan yoga to decide decide the level of wealth in horoscope and you actually predict based on that so certainly raj yoga and dhan yoga will uplift the level of the horoscope prash yoga khali yoga pranabhuk yogas will decrease the level of the horoscope and they actually work in horoscopic analysis these yogas goes into an altogether different categories generally you see these yogas are based on house lords because when you go on to read a horoscope you are essentially analyzing a house either the person have asked you a question how will be my professional life how will be my marriage etc or you yourself have posed a question that let's predict about child birth let's predict about family life and answering this question is prediction in this particular regard to answer it you will analyze the house house lord significator in rashi navamsha divisional charts and we will check the dashas in this complete scheme of analysis yogas comes nowhere right this is a very very basic point that have to be understood raj yogas dhan yogas and other combinations which are made based on the house lordship of planets only this you will use now you see a horoscope is having no dhan yoga horoscope is having no raj yoga it is having two khali yogas two prash yogas lagna lagna lord 10th house 10th house lord is afflicted 5th house lord 9th house lord is afflicted second lord 11th lord is weak and this horoscope is having mahapurush yoga and this horoscope is having gajgeshri yoga also now you answer me can you predict success and happiness to this person only based on gajgeshri yoga and mahapurush yoga if your answer is yes then you have never seen a horoscope you have never make a successful prediction because that is the wrong answer you cannot predict this way so coming to yogas except for yogas like raj yogas dhan yogas these yogas planet based yogas such as gajkeshri yogas and mahapurush yogas etc don't have much bearing on a horoscope analysis you can see many common people having mahapurush yogas many successful people not having mahapurush yogas and still they are mahapurush right so one have to understand that the purpose of yoga is to add into an 
analysis. If you already see that the person is very successful, you see the horoscope of Mahatma Gandhi. In the horoscope of Mahatma Gandhi, the 10th Lord is situated in the 10th house. The Lagna Lord is situated in Lagna. It is already a horoscope which indicates a lot of success. 5th Lord is going into the 2nd house. Ninth Lord is Digbali. This is already a horoscope which indicates a lot of success in it. Now keeping in mind the success that is already indicated in the horoscope, you should then go on to check that okay Venus is in the ascendant in his own Rashi, it makes a Malavi Yoga, so this person is a Mahapurush. But let's understand the point that this person being a Mahapurush is not because of the Malavi Yoga that is present in the horoscope. Our basic point of analysis was that otherwise also the horoscope is good, success is indicated. Now, because the success because success is already there, the person is already successful. We further have to see what type of successful he is, how much successful he is, and in doing that analysis, we will add Malavi Yoga to it. That is something that you have to understand, right? So yogas are used to after the analysis is completed, and you have found that the person is going to be successful. You add you add yogas into it. If you already see that the person is very successful from the horoscope and he is also having Gajkeshri Yoga, then from the Gajkeshri Yoga, you will say that the person will also have much name and prestige and honor apart from success. And if Gajkeshri Yoga is not there, right, then name and prestige owner may not be there. Name fame and prestige owner being the result of Jupiter. That is one thing. But even for this purpose, in my practice, I have been practicing astrology for more than 10 years now. And even for this purpose, I don't use yogas in my astrological practice as such. According to me, the purpose of yoga is to illustrate how to use the astrological principles because sages have told us the principles, but they have not given us the examples. So by telling us about the yogas, they are just re-emphasizing on the principles that they have already taught us. And they are also teaching us that how the principles can be extended so that the astrologer who is learning can have his own mind and make his own yogas. For example, you just take Gajkeshri Yoga. When moon is in Kendra to Jupiter or Jupiter is in Kendra to moon, Gajkeshri Yoga will happen. Now this Gajkeshri Yoga have a lot of result. One of that is Raj Yoga also. Now let's understand a few things. A planet in Kendra is powerful because Kendras are very powerful houses. Right, Kendras are the most powerful houses. Second most powerful house is Panafar. Least powerful houses are Poplin. That is a standard astrological principle we all know. Okay. Now, Ascendant is Ascendant. Moon is also Moon Ascendant. Moon enjoys position akin to Ascendant. That is the particular reason. The importance you give to Lagna Rashi. You also, the same importance you give to Moon Rashi also. The importance you give to Lagna Nakshatra. The same importance you give to Moon Nakshatra also. Just to highlight the same point, Gajkeshri Yoga is told that the importance you give to the Lagna Kendra is the same importance you have to give to Moon Kendras also. So as Jupiter comes in the Kendras to Moon, Jupiter becomes powerful because as the Kendras from Lagna gives power, the Kendras from Moon also give power. This same principle is also utilized in Nichibang. That if a planet is getting debilitated in Kendra to Moon, the planet is not more debilitated. Nichibang have happened and the planet becomes normal. People generally think that Nichibang is a Raja Yoga. No. Niche bang after getting niche bang after the cancellation of debilitation, the planet becomes a normal planet, does not become a powerful planet. This is my, my understanding. Let's be clear about it. Cancel debilitation is cancelled, it becomes a normal planet. It does not become a good planet, it does not become a powerful planet. For him to become a powerful planet, he should have some sources of strength. That is the basic point. Right? So this same thing is highlighted there as well. Another point is you see. Kendra's influence the ascendant. We talked about Mahapurush Yoga. Any Mahapurush means the person will have the the person will be a great man of the category of the planet who is making Mahapurush Yoga, right? Mahapurush Yoga can happen in any of the Kendras. Right? Mercury is in own Rashi exaltation in any of the Kendras. He will make Badri Yoga. Jupiter will make Hansa Yoga. Venus will make Malabhi Yoga. Saturn will make Shashi Yoga. Mars will make Ruchaka Yoga. So if Mars is giving Raj Yoga, the person, Mars is giving Mahapurush Yoga, the person is a great man of the capacity of the caliber of the attribute of the quality of Mars. It happens in Kendras and it can happen in any of the Kendras. 
indicating that kendras essentially influence the ascendant also all the kendras are mutually connected one kendra influences all the other kendras right this is a principle that i generally teach in many of my classes right the influences are generally distributed in kendras that is the particular reason it is told that if two planets are in mutual kendras to each other they have an invisible connection and in the dashas and antar dashas of each other they produce result of each other this is apparently a very big principle so maybe in some other video we will discuss about it but in this gajkeshri yoga as jupiter is in kendra to moon right jupiter is influencing the moon and otherwise also we understand that if jupiter is influencing the moon or if only benefics are influencing the moon is it makes a raj yoga so there is no surprise gajkeshri yoga is told as a raj yoga so much that if jupiter is influencing the moon in daytime or venus is influencing the moon in night time in that scenario even the balarish yoga caused by moon short life combination caused by moon is also cancelled so just to illustrate all of these principles remind all of these principles give a memory aid to the student to the reader so that they can and un understand memorize remember the importance of kendras and how the principles is to be applied extended and understood the yogas are told by our sages and certainly their application verbatim as it is is not something that is going to help any astrologer who have predicted on horoscopes will never do it that they will write all the good yogas on one side all the bad yogas on one side and will count how many good yogas are there and how many bad yogas are there and if good yogas are more they will say that the person will be successful if bad yogas are more they will say the person is unsuccessful this no sane astrologer who have even uh, one month of experience in predicting will not do good predicting you know prediction which have came true will not do right that is the basic point so the uses and the importance of yoga in horoscope analysis and what is the reality of it what is the real situation what is the real uses should be kept in mind now coming to kalasarp yoga as i told you when it comes to kalasarp yoga generally you cannot find one common result that every astrologer attributes to kalasarp yoga though but more or less you can say that people believe if someone is having kalasarp yoga they will be struggling in life they will be unsuccessful in life i will say i have seen both the type of cases people having kalasarp yoga are successful in life i have also seen people having kalasarp yoga successful in life i have also seen and the result if i have to attribute a particular result to a planet it have to be that if the combination is continuing in different horoscopes the result is also continuing in different horoscope but that sadly does not happen with kalasarp yoga at, at all right so if the horoscope is good the person is successful kalasarp yoga is there or not does not matter if the horoscope is bad person is not successful does not matter kalasarp yoga is there or not so the result certainly cannot be attributed to kalasarp yoga at all there is no need to fear from kalasarp yoga at all it does not produce any result right as i told you beforehand if you try to find one result of kalasarp yoga you will never find it because there is no singular opinion on kalasarp yoga because it does not come from authentic sources but still let's take a few thing that people having kalasarp yoga suffer in life and they are not successful and see some horoscopes the first horoscope that i will want to use is horoscope of mercury now you see in the horoscope of mercury all the planets are on one side of rahu ketu if you take that the rahu ketu go into reverse order then all the planets are under the mouth of ketu so rahu ketu kalasarp yoga being made from ketu now ketu is conjoined with moon and jupiter moon is having 23 degree jupiter is having 5 degree so you can say only moon is out of the ketu's degree because ketu is at 19 degree he will go to 18 degrees he will go behind right so he will be eating the jupiter only moon is out of the kalasarp yoga but even if the one planet is out of kalasarp yoga it is still considered an anse kalasarp yoga anse kalasarp yoga means some percent of kalasarp yoga is present according to the results of kalasarp yoga mercury should be struggling in life should not be successful in life and should have all type of fear phobia and problems etc etc which i believe you know who is mercury right she is a very prominent scientist as such mental life was also very good right so the result of kalasarp yoga is not at all applicable in her horoscope the only thing that can be attributed is the diseases that mercury had to suffer generally because of her profession 
But the only negative thing that can be found in her horoscope is the diseases that she has suffered, and that can be include that can be put to Rahu and Ketu. She, I think, was, I think, partial blind or completely blind, something like that was there with Mary Curie. So you can say Rahu Ketu have gave her a, a permanent disability, but that too, if you are a professional astrologer, if you know how to see the horoscope, you will check the horoscope, and after checking the horoscope, you will find that in the horoscope, first of all, there is no planet in the Kendra. All the planets, Mercury, Saturn, and Mars, they are in the clutch of Gulik, the significator of disease, and is there with Venus. Venus is the sixth lord. And this Mercury and Mars are also in the clutches of Saturn that indicates disease. Now, because tenth lord is also in the combination of Mercury, now Saturn, Venus, Mercury, Mars. Out of that, Saturn, Mercury, Mars is influenced by Venus. The sixth lord, Venus, Mercury, Mars is afflicted by Saturn, who is the significator of disease, and all four of them, Mercury, Saturn, Venus, and Mars, are afflicted by Gulik. In the twelfth house of hospitalization, you can say if you want to say, because of which she had problem, health issue, and because tenth lord is also in the combination, the planet Mercury in the combination is the tenth lord. This problem. she had she developed because of her profession more or less so the only negative result that you can see in the horoscope of mary curie is also attributable to the combination she is already having in her horoscope and cannot be attributed to the kala sarva yoga at all another example that you take henry ford now henry ford is also having kala sarva yoga as the planets will go in the backward motion you see all the planets are under the grip of rahu only moon is out of the kalasarv yoga so this is ansik kalasarv yoga partial kalasarv yoga is there now in the horoscope of people like henry ford you should say that kalasarv yoga should give him financial difficulty he should not reach up to the level that he is actually destined to you know who is henry ford right the owner of the ford company though ford is not in india but ford is having a very good business and i believe that it is one of the only car related businesses in the world who is still controlled by the original family at least they have the maximum voting rights in the company so he have actually made a business which will go on for generations and i believe his great grandson is now managing ford and he is having the maximum voting rights right so you see the result of kalsarp yoga is not applicable at all leaving kalsarp yoga aside if you see the horoscope you will find that in the horoscope the lagna lord and the 12 and the second house lord and 11th house lord that is mercury it is conjoined in the 12th house which makes dhani yoga now you see 12th house is a neutral house not a very bad house as such and in that the dhani yoga maker mercury is in his own navamsha and being in the 12th house he is very close to ascendant where he will get the digable right so horoscope is having quite some very great dhani yogas because of which he was very successful in life the 10th lord venus is there in ascendant and generally when 10th lord is there in kendras the person is highly successful which henry ford really was and this kalsarv yoga could do nothing to stop his success as such neither he struggled to make his business he did not struggle to make his made his business whatever little bit of struggle that everyone will have to do certainly the money will not fall from the fan over your head right so whatever little you know physical work that he had to do going from one place to another place to find office and do things that he had to do but apart from that there is nothing that he had to do at all you see horoscope of dilip kumar that is a very great he was a very great actor quite successful he is also having kalsarv yoga in horoscope so you can say saturn and moon both are out of the kalsarv yoga but if you go by the traditional definition saturn is in the mouth of rahu and only moon is out of the kala sarva yoga seems like a partial kala sarva yoga but you see dilip kumar was very very successful the success first of all the fame that dilip kumar was having is clearly visible with jupiter in the kendras right jupiter gives fame i told you name him status is given by jupiter while i was explaining ajigeshri yoga right if you remember that so jupiter in the kendra gives him much name fame and status that he absolutely had now though rahu is with saturn and from the definition of kalsarv yoga it will be considered to be in the mouth of rahu mouth of snake but otherwise it is the lagna lord in the ninth house which should make dilip kumar very famous that he actually was 
to make dilip kumar very fortunate that he actually was and despite the fact that his birthplace was peshawar in pakistan right in the partition he came to india and became very successful and you know dilip kumar he had a lot of name fame status money recognition and all of these things and the kalasarva yoga could not stop him from achieving the success that was destined for him right a lot of planets in the 11th house is another combination for great name fame status that he is having so that, that is that is also the case you say the horoscope of adolf hitler hitler is also having kalasarva yoga ketu is with moon and jupiter now ketu is 22 degree jupiter is 15 degree moon is 13 degree so ketu will go backwards and receding from 22 degrees he will eat both moon and ketu moon and jupiter he will go to the 12th house the planets will actually be eaten by rahu there is only saturn who is out of kalasarva yoga not talking about adolf hitler though he was a dictator and he met with the fate and that that is destined for everyone like him but apart from that he was a very successful dictator he was a very successful commander in chief in his own right right and though you can say that he could not do painting which he actually wanted to pursue but that is more or less because you know his interest changed as compared to any possible result of kalasarva yoga as such do kalasarva yoga make you a negative person if you say that you know adolf hitler was not a good person his views were destructive for the world of course his views were correct in his in his thought but it was destructive for the world but does kalasarva yoga make you a person like that that's not the case right so whatever was the weakness or the bad point in hitler's horoscope that is not justified by kalasarva yoga and other things that the kalasarva yoga indicate was not in the horoscope of adolf hitler was not is not in the horoscope of adolf hitler and as people generally say that if you have a kalasarva yoga you will have uh, you see you will see snake in your dreams and all sort of things so i don't believe all of these people i i don't i don't listen reading about mary curie henry ford dilip kumar or adolf hitler that they used to get afraid by seeing snakes in their dream at all right so the result of kalasarva yoga is not applicable here as well you see in the horoscope of atal vihari bajpayee ji there is kalasarva yoga every planet will go into the mouth of ketu only mars is out of the clutches so this is also ansik kalasarva yoga now what you can attribute this ansik kalasarva yoga to, to to this particular point that atal vihari bajpayee was unmarried i believe that atal vihari bajpayee being unmarried is also seen from very various other factors right it's not like he was a brahmachari he was actually unmarried that is the basic point and it is seen through many other factors as well i don't want to explain that but anyone who have learnt a marriage or a gemini with me they will be very easily you know find it out remaining unmarried is not a result of kalasarva yoga though you can say that despite the fact bjp came into power he did not became the pm even if he became pm for some time it was very brief so the destruction of raj yoga you see chatrabhangi is a result of kalasarva yoga the person does not get to the level of success he deserves and all sort of things that can be told for kalasarva yoga first of all in all the horoscopes that we have seen before this result is not replicated right in the horoscope of atal vihari bajpayee ji you will see that 10th house is basically not influenced by any planet as such it is not having a planet at all the 10th lord is sun sun is going into the second house sagittarius rashi gemini navamsha it is going into gemini navamsha which is an inimical navamsha for sun it is an inimical navamsha for sun that is first point and secondarily if you see all the planets except for the fact that fifth lord and 10th lord is connected in the second house in which case they both are going in inimical navamsha there is no other raj yoga present in the horoscope and it is only because of the lack of raj yoga i believe that first of all he could not sustain his power and secondarily he could not get his power now you see if you are saying that when bjp gained power in 2014 they did not make him prime minister instead make modi ji prime minister in that case you should compare the raj yogas between modi ji and bajpay ji and you will certainly see that modi ji's raj yoga is stronger as compared to the raj yoga of bajpay ji so that is a that, that is the factor which gives the result 
instead of kala sarp yoga right in fact one more example is the horoscope of akbar or the great or not the great he is also having kala sarp yoga and it is not a kaansi kala sarp yoga no planet is out of the rahu ketu clutch every planet is under the clutch of rahu ketu and as rahu ketu uh, 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 recede backwards right all the planets will be eaten by rahu you see the life of akbar was uh, not filled off any disgrace or you see akbar did not get the position that he wanted or akbar was struggling in life that was never the case <laughs> instead akbar was someone who actually inherited his place right the i think his father or who made his king he died akbar was still a child the cust- some commander in chief was the custodian of the kingdom it is highly probable that the commander in chief can cheat but the commander in chief did not cheat and he gave akbar the position right very dedicatedly that he did not cheat at all in 80% of the cases the cheating will happen but with akbar it never happened why because akbar is akbar was very fortunate right and that fortune is seen in the horoscope as well right the ninth lord going in the fifth house is clearly indicating the fortune the lagna lord in the third house influencing the ninth house is also a very clear indicator on the fortune you may argue that lagna lord is debilitated i will say that lagna lord is vargottam also right so where people will actually get cheated akbar did not get cheated despite the fact that he is having kalsarv yoga and the result of kalsarv yoga is being cheated but he did not get cheated and akbar became so phenomenal akbar became so powerful akbar became so influential that he founded dine ilahi and called himself a, a, almost a god right so he was so powerful and no bad result of kalsarv yoga as in struggle with power cheating by people at all happened to akbar in fact the commander in chief who dedicatedly gave the complete kingdom to akbar akbar sent him to some pilgrimage and got him killed in between and no one even doubted akbar or challenged him right so such is the such was his life which is extremely contrary to what is the result of kalasar biyoga you see the horoscope of margaret thatcher she is also having kalasar biyoga full complete kalasar biyoga no planet out but if you see the life of margaret thatcher first of all she was very successful politician not only successful politician in places like england where generally people don't have a very good marital life she had a very good marital life also though she had to face some opposition because of her economic ideas but that happens with more or less every politician the level of protest and opposition that she faced was very negligible as compared to what other others face apart from that there is no bad result of kalsarp yoga in her life at all she was not struggling with power she was not having any phobia she was not having a bad marriage she even had children and everything was all well and good in fact the hotel where she was staying was also bombed and she was unharmed in the accident as well right so accidental death and timely death these results of kalsarp yoga that is there also did not happen she was extremely successful and i think one of the first very prominent women politicians of the complete world she was right or at least of the england i am not very sure about it but she was very successful despite the fact that she is having a complete kalasar yoga you take the example of osho osho is also having kalasar yoga only jupiter is out of the kalasar yoga you can say it is ansi kalasar yoga but i don't think that osho have suffered anything as such he was born a jain you can say he was born in humble family he did his education he became professor after that he became very influential guru the guru with the rolls royce so i don't think that you see osho struggled with power or osho was somehow dissatisfied in his life it is not there osho was so open about his life and experiences and he never reported seeing snakes in his dream at all and i don't believe that he struggled any type of deficiency or anything you see in childhood he may have struggled but once he became an adult got the job as a philosophy teacher and after that his complete story in this complete story i don't believe he ever suffered or you know did not get what he wanted or there was any result of kalsar yoga well applicable to his life seen in his life not at all so here also you see the kalsar yoga is not 
working. In the horoscope of Jawaharlal Nehru, also Kalsarpa Yoga is there. It is a complete Kalsarpa Yoga. No planet is out. Jawaharlal Nehru, our first prime minister, you know, he was born to Motilal Nehru, very rich person, palatial building he lived in. He had to go to jail a few times, but which politician of that time was not in jail? Almost everyone was in jail because they were revolting against the Britishers. So he went to jail, but apart from that, he was quite educated. He became the first prime minister, got a lot of power and he became prime minister to like, he left a legacy. He became prime minister and after his, his child Indira Gandhi also became prime minister, which uh, could not be told for the, you know, this, the level of high fortune that Jawaharlal Nehru was having, uh, many politicians did not like 90% of the politicians in the world does not had, have that type of fortune. You know, the society he was born in, the type of progress he have done and the type of legacy he left for his family members. Many politicians could not achieve it. And the trace of uh, Kalasarbi Yoga of Rahu Ketu, the person is struggling with power, the person is struggling to get top get at the top in his profession or any bad result of Kalasarpa Yoga is not at all applicable in the horoscope of Jawaharlal Nehru at all. Right. One more example I will tell you. This is a horoscope of Harman Heisenmanns. I, I don't know if I am pronouncing his name correctly. This person filed for bankruptcy. So it, it, it can be said to be a financial ruin, ruin at a point of time. Right, difficulties in profession, difficulties sustaining what he has built, difficulties sustaining the business and wealth that he have earned. Now, in this horoscope, also Kalasarv Yoga is there, but you see, this is Ansik Kalasarv Yoga. Mars is out of the Mars is out of the uh, Kalasarv Yoga axis. Now, we have seen many horoscopes of Kalasarv Yoga where the result is not applicable as it should be applicable for Kalasarv Yoga. In all the cases, what we have seen is. That one attribute or another attribute of Kalasarpa Yoga is applicable to the people, but one attribute which is applicable to all the horoscopes is not present. So when you categorize something as a yoga, when you categorize something as a principle, it should have at least one rule which applies to all the horoscopes having this combination. And so far with uh, all the examples of Kalasarpa Yoga, we have this, this is the 10th example we are doing, right? Almost the 10th example. 10th example, in fact, that we are doing and almost in all the horoscopes, there is no similar pattern regarding Kalasarpa Yoga, right? To Marie Curie, if you say that the disease of the Marie Curie is because of Kalasarpa Yoga, then that disease is not repeated in other horoscopes, right? So the result, if you say the bad nature of Adolf Hitler is because of Kalasarpa Yoga, that is not repeated in other horoscopes. The loss of power that happened total Vihari Vajpayee, if you attribute that loss of power to Kalsarbi Yoga, that is not repeated in other horoscopes, right? So first of all, that the no result is repeating. Now, as compared to all the other nine horoscopes that we have seen, this horoscope is completely contrasting. Here, you, here we can say that because of Kalsarbi Yoga, he had to lose and he had to file for bankruptcy. But leaving that aside, even if you see the horoscope in normal light, you will see that Lagna Lord Sun is going in the fourth house where he is losing his directional strength. That is the problem. Second house Lord and eleventh house Lord Mercury, which is may, which is the Lord of the Dhani, which should make the Dhani Yoga, is going into fifth house. Now eleventh Lord going in the fifth house is actually a very good condition for making the Raj Yoga. But in Navamsha, Mercury is going in Arish Navams, which is inimical and malefic Navams both for Mercury. Right, and applying other principles, he is having Dhani Yoga, but that Dhani Yoga is getting destroyed in his horoscope. Completely getting destroyed is in his horoscope. And one major thing is with Lagna Lord in the 4th house, Arud will also fall in the 4th house. There are two planets in 12th to Arud and no planet in 11th to Arud, indicating that there is more expenditure as compared to income in his horoscope, which leads to the bankruptcy that he have filed. And this result cannot be attributed to Kalasarp Yoga. First of all, because he's already having the combination of secondarily, if Kalsarv Yoga causes bankruptcy or professional difficulties, then it is not repeated in the other nine horoscopes that we have seen. One major result that we encounter with respect to Kalsarv Yoga is that Kalsarv Yoga can significantly delay your progress. Kalsarv Yoga can significantly, uh, 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 you, you know, further away your success. And because of Kalsarv Yoga, one may have to suffer a lot in life and they will only get power when it is very late in life. You see, King Charles who recently became the king of United Kingdom now, 
got this power quite late in life and he i think recently was uh found having some disease also i believe it is cancer right so to the results of kalasarp yoga if i have to find a horoscope in recent times where the result of kalasarp yoga is really applicable you can say it is the horoscope of king charles who first of all gains power very late in his life almost in his old age and as soon as he gets the power he becomes troubled by the disease and all sort of things right now if you see the horoscope of king charles the kalasarp yoga is completely unavailable right so the result of kalasarp yoga whatever result kalasarp people say that kalasarp yoga produces that result is more or less produced in the life of king charles 3 but then in his horoscope kalasarp yoga is not there so you see that is the reality the result of kalasarp yoga first of all the result is not definite even if you take one result first of all every astrologer is having a different opinion kalasarp yoga causes this kalasarp yoga causes that and none of that works even if you point out one result that kalasarp yoga does this that result also cannot be replicated in number of horoscopes it is not matching in number of horoscopes at all so there is no definite result which can be attributed to kalasarp yoga if kalasarp yoga if there is problems in the life of people having kalasarp yoga such as loss of power or filing bankruptcy etc etc it is because of other principles so as i told you in the beginning any astrologer who is practicing astrology who is reading a horoscope will know that when there is a question related to anything in astrology you will analyze the house house lord significator in the rashi chart navamsha chart divisional charts dasha santar dasha you will use gemini system and all of these things to analyze house house lord significator to answer the question and you will not give much importance to combinations at all the same is the story with kalasarp yoga also first of all the kalasarp yoga does not work because whatever is the result of kalasarp yoga that is non replicable what is the result that is not definite even if you take one or two result you cannot see it in more than one horoscope if one custom result is applicable in one horoscope then it cannot be told to be a yoga whatever result is in the horoscope of these people that result is very clear as you do normal analysis of a horoscope so there is no need of uh, you know looking for something known as kalasarp yoga researching something or Uh, you know formulating something known as kalasarp yoga you see you go to formalize a formula or technique or a yoga when that formula technique or yoga gives you answer to something which is there in the life of the person but cannot be explained or justified using the normal principles of astrology which is absolutely not the case in all of these matters right whatever is happening in the life of these people is very clear from the horoscope and should not be cannot be attributed to kalasarp yoga at all i believe that the some astrologers just wanted to mint money their purpose is not the prediction their purpose is minting money so anyone comes to them they will keep consultation charges very low and their purpose will be that i will do consultation for 100 rupees but whatever person will come to us and absolutely person will come to you with problems only so you will give that problem to one planet or the other planet and will tell them to get the remedy done from them only and for that remedy you will charge so horoscope reading 100 rupees only the person will come you will say mangal dosham kalasar dosham sani sade sati sani dhaiya kantak sani right aditya dosham that is when the sun is between uh, 10 degrees to 20 degrees in any rashi it is aditya dosham any rashi it is aditya dosham right so if you are born between 25th to 5th of any month or in a state 20 to uh, 20th to 20th of any month up to 30th of any month or uh, from the first of any month up to the 10th of any month you will have an aditya dosham in your horoscope for sure their primary purpose is anyone will come to us we will find a problem in their horoscope for horoscope reading we will take 100 rupees but problem we will find for that problem we will recommend some puja and regarding puja even if it is the smallest puja even satnarayan puja is there what one will offer less than 1500 rupees and for all of this you see the for shani mantra is shani mrutunjaya stotra is very big so kalasarp yoga we make you know kalasarp yoga we say the anushthan will be very big and because it is a big anushthan what less than 10000 rupees one will charge so minimum 10000 rupees for the anushthan they will charge person will also think that okay at the end i am getting some puja done for myself only i am getting some dosham removed from for myself only person will also feel good and we will also mint money 
for these people their purpose is not the prediction right our purpose like my purpose in a consultation is first of all any person will come they will have a question if they don't have a question we pose a question and we answer the question if some remedy is needed we recommend the remedy i recommend the remedy i don't do the remedy for the person mantra chanting is needed i will tell the mantra gemstone is needed i will tell the gemstone what puja is needed i will tell you that you have to get this puja done to find the priest get the puja done is your responsibility to purchase the gemstone is your responsibility to chant the mantra is your responsibility i don't do any remedy for any of my clients at all that is the first thing secondarily these people who believe in things such as kala sarp yoga sani sade sati sani kantak sani daiya these people you go to them with marriage related problems they will never tell you that oh in your horoscope marriage is indicated but late marriage is indicated you wait for 3 4 more years your marriage will happen they will never tell you this they will never tell you this because if they tell you this their uh, their services will not be sold they will not be able to make money so these are all the things of minting money only and the results of kala sarp yoga is more or less that everyone feels in their life right i am not succeeding as per my effort and people don't love me people are jealous from me i feel under confident and all of these things generally you see people who are psychologically weak who come from a weak financial background they generally suffer these things right like people coming from a socially mentally financially backward class they generally feel these things right when you talk to a very high level executive when i give consultation to very high level executive they are like sir i am not able to you know execute the idea the way i want to do it you give me some remedy for it this is the words of a high level executive i cannot name him right you see a person from a village educational qualification poor thinking regressed right the person wants to become businessman like mukesh ambani right hey, his father is dhirubhai ambani your father is not at the first place and his suspect will be that sir some dosha is stopping me someone is doing black magic on me and all sort of things right so these people are on the verge of getting exploited and principles such as kala sarp yoga is made only to exploit them because the result of kalsarp yoga is not clear what will be the effect of the remedy of kalsarp is also not clear right so the astrologer will suggest you kalsarp worship will take 100 rupees for consultations 15000 rupees for kalsarp worship you will get the worship done and because there is no absolute result of kalsarp that is supposed to happen you are expecting nothing right the the person who want to take your money took your money he is happy and you somehow feel cheated but okay what you can do right this is the reality from my side there is nothing such as kala sarp yoga don't worry about it it does not work it have no result at all and any other yoga for that matter also you have a good yoga don't be so happy you have a bad yoga don't be so sad the analysis of our the prediction depends on the analysis of horoscope and yogas have very little to very less role play yogas have very little to very less role in predictions that is the truth